Lake shoes. Lake shoes. Lake shoes. I like lake shoes. I like lake shoes too. Uh, today we're going to be talking about some cool lake shoes that we have here to show you. What series of lake shoes are we going to be talking about today? Well, today we're going to be talking about the 237 world of lake shoes. Okay, well let's start with the CX 237s. They are the road specific shoes. We've got both colors, white and black. Does, That's right. Is they, there a third color? They do make a natural leather color, like Ooh, a brown or nice. tanned leather. It's pretty nice looking. It's for your, you know, your hipsters, your cowboys, your people who are into leather, bondage Brooks, things. saddle. That's right. Using. Exactly, exactly. And you know, folks, folks who wear a lot of tweed. Um, but you know, here in the store, we don't really sell a lot of a lot of uh, those other colors. For 2018, they have shown at Eurobike uh, really cool purple and really cool red, but we don't have those either because honestly, I don't think they're going to import them into the United States, but time will tell. On the short term though, we have the white showing and we have the black. Uh, here we saw a lot more black because it's New York City, but you know, if you're into the hot boys, if you're into the uh, looking sharp on a bike, white is always the way to go. Really classy looking shoe. Both colors go really well with almost any color sock uh, you can imagine. Um, take a look at the woven carbon fiber sole. Maybe you can see that a little bit. Um, very stiff, lightweight. Um, one of the things I think we like the most about Lake is the shape of the last is I think um, more suited to or toward the human foot than maybe other some other brands out there. That's right. Um, Can you exhibit to, that? To demonstrate that, um, yeah. we've we've uh, grabbed one lake insole and um, uh, a, an insole from an unnamed Italian shoe company. Yes, um, they're quite famous. This company. <laughs> they are. Um, so maybe you can notice just kind of the different shape, less pointy in the toes. But check out the, di the difference in the width of the shoe right at the metatarsals. Can you maybe point that out, Sam? Absolutely. So here, the width on the lake shoe is much wider. It's much more generous. So I'm going to even point that out by lining them up on top of each other. And you can really see as the lake hangs over <laughs> a good That's right. almost a full centimeter, maybe, maybe not quite, maybe a half centimeter. But I'll tell you what, having worn both shoes, it definitely feels exactly as it looks, right? And these are the same size. I mean, the same person's foot is supposed to fit in either of these shoes. And, you know, Lake obviously has more room on the, uh, the inside of the shoe for your foot to fit. Also, this is shaped more like a human foot than this. I don't know anybody's foot who's pointy and sh shaped pointy. Like, it just, <laughs> it doesn't really, it doesn't do it. Also, this insole has a m nice metatarsal button. It's got some, you know, some some decent venting. Um, it's just a little higher quality insole. So Lake spent a little bit more money on this insole than CD did. If you notice, the CD insole is paper thin. There's really not much to it. Um, I think that really these are more of a placeholder for for an insole inside a shoe. But so far we've gone on too long about insoles. <laughs> you get it. The point is, Lake insole wider. Thus the shoe should be wider, right? And yes, the answer is it is definitely, definitely wider. Cool. So let's move on to uh, show the Mountain uh, 237. Okay. Before we do that, let's just mention the you know the basics here. It okay. is a full grain leather upper. It has two LP5 Boa dials. It's got a full carbon outsole. It does have some venting, so you know your feet aren't going to roast in these shoes. Um, so all in all, you know those are the features that make these reviews kind of boring. But yes, let's get onto the mountain. Sorry, sorry to jump the gun. All right. Very similar. The main difference here on the bottom. So on the mountain shoe, totally different bottom, but still full carbon sole. Um, we've got all the lugs and such for mountain biking. Um, Essentially, it's the, it's same, the same shoe. shoe. They just glued lugs onto the bottom of the shoe. I mean, I honestly, I cannot tell any difference between these two shoes other than the outsole where they glued a bunch of lugs on. And that's fine because the same, you know, wider footed foot or normally shaped foot is going to fit in both shoes. So if you have the shoe and you're comfortable in the shoe, obviously this is going to be, you know, a fine mountain version if you prefer. But they we make have, something even cooler. We have a third 
237. That's right. May I present to you Booyah Shaka Sha! MX237 Boom! Supercross. This is actually my personal um, shoe. So this is uh, a shoe I've actually worn for a full season now. Uh, I got these last October um, 2016. Um, one of the main differences between this shoe and the other 237s is the upper. What is this upper called? Abrasion resistant. It's uh, some sort of abrasion resistant leather. It feels like the leather has been coated with some kind of sandpapery, something like very fine sandpapery substance. What I can tell you it does do is it it really does what it claims. It, it's um, an abrasion resistant material. You can see I've been riding the shoe both on and off road for a whole season, and they look perfect. It looks great. Um, yeah. A little bit more color variation than black or white. That's right. Um, this shoe comes in either this blue, white, and gold color, or uh, the same black with pink, where the gold or the blue would be. That's a very cool looking shoe too, if you have a pink bike or... I guess for me, if I had to choose between the standard 237 or the MX-237 Supercross, I would choose the Supercross. It just, look at it. I mean, it's just more durable. You, I think I would be concerned about scratching the shoe on the trail, getting it too dirty, having to clean it. I mean, it's leather. It's it's going to snap back just fine under you know normal use. But, I mean, this shoe isn't really going to get messed up in the first place. And because of that, my choice for the 237 Mountain would be the Supercross version. Because I can't tell any other difference in the shoe. There isn't any. And i got to say, I'm, I've been really happy riding the shoe. Um, one fit... Um, one, one thing to mention about the fit is the heel is not quite as narrow as some other brands. Mm -hmm. So if you if your heel tapers really, really tight um, or really narrow, um, you might have the little heel lift issues. But really, that's not such a big concern really on, a, on a bike. Um, so I, I bought these shoes personally. I really, really like them. Um, as you can see, after a whole year of riding them, they still look perfect. Um, so uh, yeah, I would say if you're looking for um, uh, a, a mountain bike or a cross shoe or a gravel <laughs> shoe even, or just, just a shoe to clip into uh, normal SPDs or time or whatever, um, these shoes are great. The Supercross. Now, they do make a new version of the 237 called the Endurance. And all they've done that I can tell is they've taken this abrasive resistant material and they've taken the spots where you're going to get more abrasion on the 237 and they've sewn this material onto the outside of the shoe. So the heel, the toe. That's right. Um, honestly, I don't really see any point in it. I don't think the, the endurance version of that shoe makes a lot of sense. To me, it just still goes back to the full abrasion resistant Supercross. I think bang for the buck, this is the better shoe. It's better than the standard 237. It's better than the 237 endurance, which is $20 more than either of these shoes. Um, and it looks cooler. It's got it's, it's got, got gold graphics. on it, people. I mean, this is hot. It's there's gold. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so that's been a little discussion about the 237. Let's just wrap it up by saying these are $300 shoes. None of this is 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 an inexpensive entry level shoe. Again, we like quality here at Spin Shoe Guru. Um, you have anything else to say, Jeff? Um, no, I, I guess if just to summarize, if you're looking for a slightly wider fitting shoe than a CD, a Giro, something like that, um, the Lakes are a really, really great option. Um, if you're looking for a mountain bike one, I think the Supercross is the way to go. I do too. All right, this has been Sam and Jeff talking about shoes. Lake shoes.